this episode of Leepu and Pitbull. The guys take on their first ever pickup. Possibilities are endless with this thing. A 2000 Chevy S10 truck. Has to be plain and simple. Holy moly, everything is broken. I'm a designer, I don't fix cars. You don't do anything with the body. My wife, you straighten the car out. The second he gets along with that car, he's gonna have a grinder in his hand. Cut everything. Get out the wrenches, baby, it's getting done right here. Better be good, right? I don't like it. There's nothing more American than a custom car. But today, custom means expensive. I'm Steve Pitbull, mechanic by trade. My dream? Make one-of-a-kind cars, but make them affordable. Body work? I don't do body work. How? Meet Leafly. The hammer made the world. He's a car designer from Bangladesh I first saw online. He takes old junk scraps and builds unbelievable cars by hand. This is my paintbrush, and these are my sculpting tools. Nobody in America builds stuff like this. I'm a simple guy with a big dream to be the greatest car designer in America. So I brought him here to do things a little differently. Oh, no. away. And make both of our American dreams come true. Custom car builders? Oh, yeah, what's going on, Steve? Hi. How you doing, Steve? My name is Sonny. I'm looking to get a little S10 custom build. Nice. Lee Pro, take a walk outside. <laughs> yeah, S10, all right. I had a couple of these trucks, man. That's it. That's the little baby. S10 means a lot to myself and my family. We still have uh, S10 Extreme. It was in a very bad accident with my son, him and Whoa. his girlfriend. Is he right? Sorry to They're hear okay. Good, that's what's important. And uh, it was wrecked, a total wreck. The total S10 Extreme lies in Sonny's backyard. He bought this S10 as a replacement. It was a dream that we always wanted to bring the Extreme to the next step. The Chevy Extreme was a souped-up high-performance upgrade on the standard S10. He's brought Pitbull and Lipu. And to make this regular truck even faster than the Extreme is Pitbull's dream build. Or we make like an extreme on steroids, you know what I'm saying? I like this car. It's like a blank canvas to me. I can do so much to this car. Oh, I can chop it up, cut it up, and uh, add up nice and stuff to it, make a big hood scoop out of it, yeah. and uh, we can change the front end. It'll look like an exotic car. Nah, 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 you can't do that, nah. It has to be plain and simple, the original color, nice five-star wheels on it. Possibilities are endless with this thing. Believe me, when he's done, your eyeball's gonna pop out of your yes. socket what he can uh, do to this I car. I, I can't go for that. Let's go take a ride, and then we'll talk, and we'll see if we're gonna take it on. All right. All right, man. Clean and simple. You can go to a gas station if you want it plain and simple. The S10 was the first ever compact pickup, designed as an everyday workhorse for families and small businesses. But it soon became popular with gearheads like Pitbull. You know, this car, they started making them in the early 80s, 1983. I'll never forget it. Guys instantly fell in love with them, started hot rodding them up. They grade on the drag track, and they actually raced these cars at the racetrack I race at. All right. Sonny's standard S10 is more of a landscape truck than drag truck, but Pitbull plans to change that. All right, man, let's see if this car's got any power. See if we can maybe work with this engine, and, you know? Let's go do a 0 to 60 test, see what this car's got. All right, here we go. get to 60. 60. Whoa! The S10 clocks a slow 13 seconds. But once it's at 60, it doesn't want to stop. Yeah! The 
oxygen in this car just has to go. Sonny wants a power upgrade, which Pitbull plans to deliver. But Sonny doesn't want any of Leepu's trademark creative bodywork. You know what? We can do a lot of things with this car. I can chop it down to the ground. I can lift it up to the air. You Lee know, Poo. make it up. Promise it like me. An orange Promise color. me you won't do anything crazy on the car. We do just little bitty things on the car. Hand him back his car. Pay me and get out of the shop. It's done. That easy. Maybe, but I don't just want to promise him that it will look the same. I need my freedom to do my things. Look, you got freedom to do certain things. Little things. <laughs> What do you guys think? You got a work truck here. You know, listen, I'm a big fan of S10s. I've owned a bunch of them. And I know what it needs, and it'll take to do what it has to do. I tell you what, maybe you guys can work with me. I like a new modern LS motor. I love how Sonny drops in an LS swap like it's no big deal. That in itself is six grand. Let's talk money. What are you what are you looking at? Bottom line, out the door, done deal. Nine grand. Oof. That's all I have. Nine grand to get an engine in the car and send it out the door. What's in my head is 15K. Nah, I can't do 15. We could play the ping pong ball game all day long. 12 grand, I'm done there. I I'll tell you what I can do. I got possession of the extreme that my son got in the accident with. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's Same good. year as this. You use that, 11 grand. I'll do 11 grand in the extreme and I'll make this happen. Got to keep it a little plain and simple, though. Plain and simple, a words to live by in this build. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Lipu doesn't keep things simple. Yo, gather around. Deal done. Pitbull and Lipu introduce the crew to their latest challenge. Lipu, why don't you look at this? Look! Broken. On close inspection, this is not going to be the plain and simple build Pitbull wants. This is a mess. Everything is wrong with this truck. Holy moly. The headlights have fallen out. Every panel on it's dented. This is not a body shop. We customize cars. I'm a designer. I don't fix cars. If you want me to fix this body, I'll fix it my way. You don't do anything with the body? My way. You straighten the car out? Yeah, my All way. All right, that's fine. You can do that. Just get it straight. And then we'll see what we got to work with after that. Okay, go ahead. Let it rip! Sony wants more power. More power means more engine, which means this thing's gotta go. Pitbull removes the old 2.2 liter four cylinder engine. Pump it up. Ready for the high power V8 Sonny has requested. Leepu and the fabricators strip down the broken bodywork under Pitbull's watchful eye. Whoa, whoa, let me watch what you do so I can undo what you did as you do it. Hey, man, it's my car. You know that? We got a tight budget. I just hope Lipu knows what plain and simple means. Lipu's come to Jimmy's junkyard, not for replacements to fix the truck, but for inspiration for his design. This place is his favorite treasure trove of car parts and bizarre scrap. There's a boat right there, and a nice classic down there. This place is full of inspiration. Wow. What am I, Joe Poopy? You don't come say hello no more? Hey, Jimmy, I need some inspiration for the Eston pickup truck. What are you looking to do on the pickup well, truck? Well, I would like to make that truck a wow-looking fantastic. So you haven't even started with this. No, thing. I want to make it special. And the client, he wants simple. And you know, Lipo doesn't do simple. So, where do you want to start? Have you thought about lights on the truck? Pickup customizers often switch out their lights to use those from an American classic instead. And Jimmy thinks he has just the thing for the rear. Whoa, here we go. You know what? These are awful, don't you? Whoa. These are Cadillac lights. These are, these are trick. These are nice. That's, can, that's nice. We got something. Can you fit that in? Could you, I mean, you're going to have to cut into the quarter in, for that. These are nice lights. That's the top. Pull narrow right into the top of the body, level with the gate, nice and flat. You know what? I think this is the lights I really like. 
Leepu's chosen taillights from a 2007 Cadillac CTS. Now he must complete the classic American look on the front. Nah, that's an old light. That's too square. That I don't need. I don't need. Oh, I like this light. These are brand new designed lights. They have an angular shape and a very mean looking look to it. This would make that whole truck amazing. The amazing lights Lipu's chosen are from a Japanese family car. A Toyota light in an American pickup truck. I like the shape. The customer wants plain and simple, and Lipu wants to install Japanese lights. There's only one way this is going to end. Back at the shop, Lipu has his inspiration, and Pitbull is already worried. Put as little time into this as humanly possible. Don't worry, don't worry. We're going to do it right. While Lipu starts work on the car, this is going to be a show truck. Pitbull hits up his network of buddies. Yeah, let me speak to Joe, please. For an LS1 engine. That's like spectator price. I don't pay that kind of money. With his back turned, Lipu's moving ahead full throttle. I'm going to make some room here. Steve's saying Lipu can't do this. Second he gets alone with that car, he's going to have a grinder in his hand. To create the exact shape for the new light, Lipu must cut into the bodywork and the tailgate. But cutting isn't part of Pitbull's plain and simple plan. It's always different working with Lipu. Sometimes he's just full of so much creative energy you can't even keep up. Yo! Yo! What are you doing? Lipu! Lipu! What are you doing? What are you doing? What did we talk about with this car? Leepu and Pitbull are one week into customizing a 2000 Chevy S10 pickup. Customer Sonny wants a plain and simple build, but Leepu's gone rogue. Leepu, Leepu. And is completely redesigning the truck around a set of lights he bought at the junkyard. What did we talk about with this car? We had a conversation, remember? And I said, I'm a we oh, make custom cars, don't you? I mean, we have a reputation, It was going right? to be a custom car with a nice engine, transmission, and driveline in it. And it was going to go real fast. But it's going to look good. Steve doesn't get it. People don't know what they want until they see it. It's my job as a designer to open their eyes. I know I can make a car that Sonny will love. Steve just has to trust me. The arrangement was that we were doing little to no work on this thing. And now look at this. What else are you doing? Uh, just a little bit. Not much. Leepu, not much, and Steve, not much, are two different things. We need to know where you're going with this car. I already cut these lights. So to balance it out, I have to do something at the front. Otherwise, this car, you know, it's not like, you know. Please, try really hard to keep it within reason. Okay. Just bite off little bits. You know, you ever hear that expression, eyes in the back of your head? Well, I wish I had them right now. Because behind me is a little man with a chainsaw running around in circles trying to cut everything up that's not nailed down. And then in front of me is the hunt for that perfect LS1 to fit the budget for this S10 build. Pitbull hits the road to look for an LS1 engine. The LS1 is a customizer's dream because it's light and powerful. But its popularity also makes the LS1 hard to find in good condition and for a good price. We have an $11,000 budget. To buy one new for six grand just isn't in the cards. And going to a junkyard is a little risky in that you really don't know what you're buying. Pitbull's had a tip-off from his buddy Jim, who has a second-hand LS1 at his park shop. What's going on, Jim? Well, uh, you know, going, going. A used LS1 can go for about $4,000. But Pitbull is looking to spend half that amount if he can make a deal. Yeah, this is it right here. All right, so this is the one he had in the Mustang, right? Yeah. I got to keep costs down, but I know you're not going to sell me this with a junkyard price tag attached mm. to it. What are you looking to get for this thing? I'd like to get probably around three. 
You know, sometimes the deal is all about the haggle. A little bit of back and forth. You know me, man. No BS. I hate to kick tires. I'm on a budget build. Sometimes it's about walking with the number, pulling out the cash, and going for the kill. What if I do 25 cash, load up my truck? I don't even need to unwrap it because I know what I'm buying. Uh... Clean. I'm going to buy all the gaskets and seals from you to put it together anyway. All right. Yeah, I'll do it. Deal done. Gets the deal done. The V8 Chevy engine packs 450 horsepower. Squeeze it on. It's a massive upgrade on the 120 horsepower of Sonny's old four-cylinder. Beauty. The engine cost me 2,500 bucks, but the transmission is going to cost me nothing. The word junk comes across my desk quite often. The reality is, if I didn't have all that junk, we would be building affordable custom cars. All right, look, man, this is the perfect unit right back here for this car. So this thing here cost me $20. Oh, yeah. Ew. Look at all this junk in here. So what we got to do is we got to clean it all up and just look over it, make sure it's not burnt up or toasted. When cleaning aluminum, it's always ideal to have a stainless steel wire brush because stainless steel cleans aluminum pretty good. Keeps the budget in check as well, which keeps Steve happy. If Steve ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. I have a great design for the front end. It will change the face of the car. But it's going to be a bit difficult because this car is very old-fashioned and those lights completely do. All right, man. She's ready to go. Throw it in the car. That's what I'm talking about. Ready Let's do this. The S10 engine bay was built to accommodate a four-cylinder engine. Now Pitbull and the crew are trying to fit a V8 that's almost twice the size. Send it in a little more. Ooh, if we could just get underneath it with a jack now, we might make it happen. You want to try to push? Yeah, I'm pulling. You push. Oh, oh, it's... Close. Hold on, hold on, let me try something. The LS1 is stuck less than an inch from where it needs to be. Now lift it up and push Look. it in. Hold on. But an inch is as good as a mile for this engine. You know what? Time for the hammer. Oh, All right, let's get this thing in. <laughs> oh, oh. And with one more strike of the hammer. Side's good. No, my side is good. It's in. Now Pitbull must beef up the truck's suspension and rear axle to handle its power upgrade. Bring it down! Bring it down here! With the budget tight, the only way forward is to salvage parts from Sonny's totaled S10 Extreme. Get out the wrenches, baby! It's getting done right here! Woo! In it, I want it out! I want to know, is, is there anything under here worth the sh It's a loss. It's a total loss. There's nothing he can use. S10 Extreme. Only thing extreme about this truck is the state it is in. No good. Pitbull and Leepu are just over two weeks into customizing Sonny's S10 Chevy pickup. With a tight 11 grand budget. Pitbull is hoping to salvage parts from the total S10 Extreme Sonny gave him as part of the deal. Bumper is bad. But the donated truck is in horrible shape. Oh, what, what the hell is that? And with money running out, the team must salvage whatever they can from the damaged pickup. Anything you see worth keeping, I think we should say. I can use the hood. Let's go. Asses and elbows. Every man on deck. What is deck. good? There's a good headlight. Wire is always good. We sell it by the pound. Nickel and dime parts aren't going to rescue Pitbull's build. I, I, I really don't see much under here left. But at least Leepu has a new hood. And the inspiration he needs to kickstart his design for the Japanese headlights. His plan for Sonny's plain and simple build is to cut the front off of his truck. What's it, finger painting time? What are you doing over here? Oh, uh, I need to cut this two corners away. So I go out to the S10, and there's Leap with a magic marker, drawing all over the radiator support. No, 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 no. Wait. This is the radiator support. I know that. This has got to come on and off the car. 
The radiator support is a very important part of the vehicle. And there's Lipa with a magic marker and a new headlight, ready to make Swiss cheese out of it. No, 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 listen. This is part of the headlight. This part is mine. Yeah, but you can't cut all like that. Let me see this magic marker. This guy is like a little kid. He always needs to be watched because he's ready to get himself in trouble all the time. I'm going to do you a favor, and I'm going to give you this. Lee Poo, all right? Pitbull marks out a line on the corner where he wants Lee Poo to cut. Done. Leave this alone, and I'm going to do it on this side. Hey, it doesn't work that way. I yeah, mean, no, no, no. Uh, I, I, it, it won't work that way. The car won't work that way. And look here, Steve. What do you want with the light sticking out of the, the whole body? No, but you can work within here without cutting into all of this and moving all of this. He will cut the engine out of the car if he knew it'd make it look better. Okay, I'll, I'll take care of that. Right, don't I, worry. I, I, you don't, you don't I, have to worry about it. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Lee poo. Lee poo. After marking out his territory, Pitbull has one last plan for the total extreme. I'm going to find all the value in that truck and squeeze it for every nickel I can get out of it. What Pitbull can't salvage himself. Yo, what's up? I got you something here. He brings to Jimmy's yard to sell for scrap. Right? Because this is like monumental that you're actually getting rid of something. I'm not giving up that hose clamp. Yeah, right. That's you. So what are you giving me? 300 bucks, and it's going to get crushed right in front of you. As a matter of fact, I can watch You're going to crush the car. 300 bucks a deal. Get ready, Louie. Hold on. You As go. the truck heads for the crusher, Pitbull can't resist the opportunity to save a few more dollars. You got one? $12 each. And I got my lug nuts. Yeah. Time for the Extreme's last contribution to the S10 bill. Yeah! $300 for scrap. Okay. Thank you. And Jimmy throws in a set of headers to improve the power of Pitbull's engine. Back of the shop, Lee Poo must cut a space for his big Japanese headlights. But Pitbull's literally drawn the line at Lee Poo chopping off his radiator supports. Oh, I cannot cut beyond this. I cannot cut beyond this. You know what? I don't care. The light needs a space. It's a big freaking light you picked out. Damn. And there's more and more and more and more space. Light needs more room. The light needs more room. Cut it out. The hood, too? Yeah. yeah. Cut everything. We're gonna get the whole front end off the car. Done! That's a hole. Steve has seen Lipu do a lot of crazy things, but this is gonna make him flip his lid. What's going on? You know what's going on. What? What did we just talk about? I drew lines on that well, S10. I have to put my light in. That, that's the most important thing, you know? It looks great. You know why nobody else puts lights like that in a truck? Why? Because they don't fit. What am I gonna do with the radiator now? You can't fit the radiator back in the car. Listen, you can you can customize the radiator, make it smaller. Do you know how much work that bigger, is to fit, fit hoses? Dude, just make it fit. It, you know, it's it's you know, not that you know, easy. Make it fit. Yeah, okay. How about I make the lights fit? Somewhere else. Light looks good. The car looks perfect. That's all I count. He can sort it out. Radiator. Why do I even bother? And there's one more complication for Pitbull as Sonny walks through the door unannounced. Hey, oh, Stevie boy. What's going on, man? How you doing? I'm in the right, neighborhood. Ah, we're all good. Just passing through, I guess, Yeah, huh? had lunch with a buddy, so I was on the way home. I figured I'd stop in and see how everything's going. 
Y'all want to think I can get a chance to see how what you guys doing? Well, you're here now. I Yay. guess you know whatever. Might as well. All right, that's Come good. Well, I really appreciate it. We poop. Oh, we poop. Hey, Sonny, how you doing? How you doing? I'm great. I'm great. How are you? I come here to see what kind of magic you guys doing to my truck. The first thing I see is I look at these two big, huge holes. Wow. I don't know, man. Everybody thinks he's not going to like my design. But trust me, everybody likes Lipo's designs, even Sonny. You see something? Bam. Wow. Oh, my Lord. Damn. This guy pulled it off. Sonny's now sold on the 2007 Cadillac taillights for an all-American rear end. I'm happy where it is. Hoping they don't go too crazy in the front. What are you guys going to do to the front? I'm thinking just don't mention Japanese lights. Please don't mention Japanese lights. I don't know. You have no idea? No. Nope. Surprise. Surprising me? No, well, I was just busy with the rare, 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 rare. Well, I didn't have time to think about the front end. But Sonny's got his own surprise for the guys. Well, guys, I got a really big favor to ask you. I got a big car show coming up with a bunch of my buddies. Cool. And uh, the big thing is, it's in two weeks. Two weeks? I don't know, I, mean, I got a lot to do. Now the car has to look even more impressive because it's going to a big show. And all those custom cars are gonna be there. Man, it's a lot of work. Leepu, we're not doing a lot. Two weeks should be no problem. Where we're at now, two whole weeks, man. You'll have it. Two weeks. All right. Come on, I'll walk you out. Let's go. Making Sonny's car meet will be a mammoth challenge. It's taken three weeks to design the back of the truck. Now, Lipu has a week to finish the front before the car needs to go to paint. Let's, let's get on with it. All right, let's get on with it. Fabricators Adam and Mark start by mounting the Japanese headlights that Sonny knows nothing about. Yeah, it'll be nice. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. But for Lipu, yeah. it's just the beginning. The size of the Toyota headlights means a complete redesign of the front of the car. Sonny said, don't make too many changes. Hey, the client doesn't rule me. My work rules the client. Lee Boo cuts the sheet metal in its trademark freestyle fashion, creating new shapes that will totally transform the face of the car. Here's a panel. This one goes uh, right corner of the uh, headlight. Even though he doesn't want anything, but he, because he's confused, I'm giving him a nice truck. With the bottom panels now hugging the new headlight, Lee Fu welds the top panels into place. It looks amazing, though. It's a bold new design and a long way from the simple build Sonny's expecting. Yeah, Lipu, you're the only guy I know with the cojones to go against what Steve said. <laughs> Pitbull's also got mechanical work to do before the S10 goes to paint. Good. Mechanics Brian and Becker connect the junkyard headers to the LS1 engine to add a final 50 horsepower. So this is what you would call a slip tube header. The four header pieces come into a common collector, and it's not welded. When you take these all apart, you can put tubes in individually. But with the new V8 installed, the engine bay has hardly any space left. It's a tight fit. It's kind of like a pile of snakes. They're all intertwined through everything. Figuring out my side of the puzzle here. I got to get this individual snake down through uh, a whole bunch of other stuff. And Eureka, I got all four pieces of my bag of snakes in. We're having tons of fun here. Brian's last tube finally slips into place. See that twisting action? I screwed it right in there. And Pitbull's 500 horsepower LS1 engine is complete. It's just one week until Sonny's car meet. 
The custom S10 must go to paint in two days, meaning it needs to be road tested tomorrow. But Leepu's still searching pit bull shelves to add even more design features to Sonny's truck. This is a show truck. I want people to stop, stare, and say, this is a Leepu custom car. Look, it's everything. Buddy. Hey, uh, I found this in the rack. It's a what? classic spoiler from a Camaro. Yeah. Or, you know. Oh, what a great idea. Yeah. It'll look good here. Really good. It'll look already looking yeah. good to me. It gives it a classic American muscle car kick. It's yeah. nice, just like, oh, beautiful. It's like the jewelry on a pretty girl oh, yeah. finishes it off, right? Oh, yeah, you're right. Poetry in motion. Oh, you yeah. perfectly said that. You're my buddy, you know that? You're not, my a, buddy. not a problem. I'm proud for you to say okay. that to me. <laughs> Leepu and Buddy work into the night to attach his final design detail. Under the car, the mechanics add a new spring leaf suspension that Pitbull bought with the money from crushing the S10 Extreme. Forward. Yeah. So this truck's going to sit that much lower. It's going to look that much meaner. It's going to handle that much better. So the center of gravity of the truck's going to be way lower. The lower, the cooler. The next morning, the S10 is finally ready for its first test drive. You ready? Yeah, man. Cross your fingers. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> Let's roll, baby. Don't get too crazy. We just fired it up. Yeah. Don't break it. <laughs> Got some power, huh? Pitbull must know exactly how much power the new engine packs. Let's check it out, huh? Yeah. Nice little quiet road right here. This LS is rocking. Sony is going to be so blown away. A lot of wheel spin. At the end of the road, Pitbull hits a problem. Put the truck in forward. I put the truck in reverse. Back to forward. Mark, go. Got nothing. Guess what? No forward. It won't go. I know, but we have no drive. The S10 is stuck in reverse gear. All we got is reverse. Wait, wait, wait. Leepu and Pitbull's latest job, an S10 pickup, is stuck in reverse. You know, anytime you're stuck in gear, it's obvious it's a transmission problem. At this point, we got to get this truck back to the shop. So what are you going to do? Call it, call it two track? We're five minutes from the shop. So what? We just go back like this. Come on, I mean, hey! Five Steve, minutes. You going to drive backward? The hell I can't. Put it in reverse and drive. Come on, cops going to stop We're you. We're five and minutes. If you're going to hit a car, what's going to happen? The truck must go to paint tomorrow. But before Pitbull can fix the problem, there's a half mile of suburban street between them and the shop. I mean, nobody drives backward. Who could have caught a tow truck? It won't take, take off. Yeah, tow truck's gonna take an hour. Man, this guy's crazy passing me like that. Oh, man. The guys make it safely back to the shop. And Becker and Pitbull get the S10 straight on the lift to check out the transmission. You know, we better hope that there's not something seriously wrong with this transmission, like internal damage or a torque converter or something. Because if so, we're not going to make paint. That means we're not going to make Sonny's car show. Oh, look at this. The linkage slipped out of its socket. The linkage connects the gear shift control to the gearbox. And when it slips out of place, it means the transmission is stuck in the gear it was last in. Look at this. It's done. I think we better double check it so it doesn't happen again. It's this Good, dude. Yeah, score. Fix it up. Let's go. Rock Sweet. and roll. The problem's fixed, and the car heads to the paint shop on time. Everything's in check, except one problem. All the stuff Lee put did to that car, Sonny doesn't know about. Sonny might not like. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm going to finish that car, 
I'm gonna get it to the show. I'm gonna stick my chest out. I'm gonna hope he likes it. What else can I do? Not show up? Four days later, it's a beautiful summer morning. Sonny's monthly custom car meet, NY Wheels, is gathering at an abandoned parking lot. But they've not come to see the Challengers, Mustangs, Vipers, or Corvettes. They've come to see Sonny's customized S10 pickup. Feeling nervous. I'm expecting a lot. We gathered here a couple hours ago, and we've just been waiting to see the truck unveiled. You know, Sonny is. I hope he's gonna like it. If he doesn't like the truck, it's gonna be a big problem. Better it be good, right? And if it ain't good, what are we gonna do? They go right in the river, man. That's it. <laughs> a mile away, Lee Boo and Pitbull are heading towards judgment. Sonny's one of those car guys that knows everything. He's so picky. I don't know if he's gonna like what we do to his car. You worry too much, you know? He's gonna have an ulcer. I know what the client wants better than they do. You know what, Lipu? I don't think so. If Sonny doesn't like what you decided he should get, yeah. he's not going to pay us. <laughs> Here it comes, Sonny. I hear it. That's it. Wow, that's some turnout they got there. Yeah. Man, you know, I just sure hope you got it right, man. The entire club goes wild, except for one. Sonny! Here goes your truck! Call it you want it? Sonny's looking at that truck with a magnifying glass. His face is blank. I got no idea what he's thinking. So what do you think? Is it too much? Too little? I don't like it. I love it. <laughs> Thanks, all. I knew it. I knew it. People just need to have faith in Lipu. You did better than what I thought you would do. Headlight is something new, which I really like. Custom grill. This is Lipu's version of plain and simple. The modern Japanese lights have transformed the entire face of the S10, creating a sleek, mean-looking front. While at the back, the 2007 Cadillac lights add a touch of the American classic. The original S10 color is finished off with a gray and red pinstripe. I see the paint job, the striping. I look at the front, flipped out. Can't believe it. Long way from the truck it was. If he likes that design, wait till he sees my engine. Stevie boy, I gotta look under this hood, man. I gotta see what you guys did. There you go. Under the hood, Pitbull's refurbished LS1 V8 engine and slip tube headers deliver a massive 500 horsepower direct to the wheels. The whole package is topped off with the sleek new hood from the total S10 Extreme. You got reliability? You got power and usability all at the same time. Well, it looks great, but how does this sucker run? I think we should go take it for a ride, and I'll show you. You ain't taking me for no ride, brother. It's mine. I'm yeah. taking you for a ride. I'm not a good passenger. I hope that seatbelt works. <laughs> I don't do shotgun. Sonny driving, I'm uncomfortable. I get seasick in the passenger seat. You want to go in the passenger seat? <laughs> no, no, no. All right, Sonny, so you know we tripled the horsepower in this car, right? So my advice as a passenger, which I'm not very good at being, is to take it as easy as you can. You think you can do it? I'm ready. All I right. can do it. I'm sitting right here. Here we go. A half-mile-long closed road provides the perfect track to test the S10 0-60. to 60. Five weeks ago, the pickup clocked 13 seconds. Now it's time to see the new horsepower in action. All right, I'm ready. You ready? You ready? You want, bro? Holding on? I'm holding on. Now he will know how I feel. Ready, go! All right, all right, stop, 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 stop! I look over at Stevie, he's screaming, he's standing up, he looks like Don King. Oh, my oh, God! Holy moly! Even we 
we have oh. seven seconds with the burnout. Holy. All over the oh. road. God. But seven seconds isn't fast enough for Sonny. One more time, man. One more time. I think we can do it. We can make this car off five, brother. Five. I know I can do it. One more time. Go, All right. go, go. Let me oh, just man. myself. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Here we go. Okay. second run has bought nearly two seconds. It looks, Stevie, it books. <laughs> and it cooks. And it cooks. Yeah, we did it, man. We did it, guys. Great Grand job. slam. We did it! Here it goes. Another happy customer. On a tight 11 grand budget, Pitbull and Leepu spent only $8,000. But we made it. You know what? At the end of the day, we made three grand off the car. See? You are the power, and I'm the beauty. All right, beauty. I'm the power. That's all that counts.